Yo, brothers, what is going on? Welcome to another video on the channel. The last review that we did was Walcott, um, and I said for the reviews this year, just because of the hecticness with the main channel and the streaming, that we would keep it with pretty much like important players and important SBCs, not just generic, uh, generic, you know, stuff like that. So this is going to be a big video today. We've got Obama Yang Player of the Month. I know you guys are going to make fun of me because everybody says that I say it like Obama. And then Yang, but Obama Yang, um, aka the boom. Now, this SBC is actually, it's expensive, but compared to what I thought it would be, it, it's appropriate. Right now on Xbox, it could cost you 465k. PlayStation is about 480k. So, you need to submit an 87 squad. You need to submit an 85 squad, an 87 squad, and an 85 squad. So, 287s and 285s. Also on my mods account, so that's why the few points are there. So, appreciate the mod uh, for the support. We get to do some of these more expensive player reviews. Um, you know, without having to sacrifice on the main account. So we're going to submit the last 87 squad. Um, for completing this SBC, um, you are going to receive four, uh, four different packs. You guys can see we've completed Player of the Month, Patrick, or not Patrick, Pierre Emerick Obama. I was calling him Patrick. Uh, Pierre Emerick Obama. Very, very good looking card. Um, you guys kind of know what you're going to get with Obama Yang and FIFA. You're going to get pace. You're going to get shooting. Um, and you're going to get just get in behind terror. Um, from the Gabon, uh, Gabon, I'm not a native, but, uh, look, good looking card, right? 95 pace, 87 shooting, passing at 78, dribbling at 81. It, the card looks like you have everything that you want with him, right? Um, as we see the pretty little walkout and we'll go ahead and open the packs to show you guys what you guys will get back from the packs on average. Before we do that, guys, we got to look at the card, right? If you enjoy the video today, drop a thumbs up from this video today. I'm just going to kind of review him. I'm going to tell you guys what he's like. I didn't do a gold bombing review this year, so... We'll really get to feel how this card is. He's six foot two. Um, he's got medium low. Medium low is not the best, but it's not the worst. He's got four star weak foot and four star skills. Um, so that's all pretty good. Sprint speed and acceleration is one of the strengths of this card. 93, 93 acceleration with 96 sprint speed. Then you look a little bit more into the card. You've got 91 finishing, which is just absolutely lethal. 92 attack positioning, which means when you guys are crossing or you guys are, are running into the box at angles, he's going to be in the right place at the right time. Um, with that 92 rating also got 88 volleys which is something interesting um and then the, the you look a little bit more into the card short passing at 80 is okay agility and balance that's a little bit of a problem with this card right 76 agility and 69 balance you would like to see a little bit better out of obama Yang with this card he's also got 88 reactions and 83 ball control which is very good with 86 composure you guys know me um as a fifa player i really rank the composure stat i think it is super important that players have over 80 composure especially especially on attackers so it's good to see that um, his heading accuracy is 80, his jumping is 80, his stamina is 79, and his strength is 75. His strength is going to feel bigger than 75 because of his in-game stock. Obama he carries this very big in-game stock. He's he's very lengthy, so he has that kind of extra shoulder room to get by people um, in-game. This guy looks pretty good. I mean, the strengths with this card is going to be getting behind pace, over-the-top through balls, um, and just lethal finishing around the box. I mean... That's what you're going to get with him. He's also a big boy, six foot two, and he links to a lot. So we're going to get him into a squad. But before we do that, we're going to open up the packs, guys, because you do get four packs for completing Obama. And I want to see, you know what? Are we going to get anything out of this? So you get a Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack. You get a Rare Gold Pack, a Rare Mega, and a Rare Electrum. So we'll open the Rare Electrum. We'll open the Rare Gold. We'll open the Jumbo. And then we'll open the Rare Mega. Let's see if we can get anything. Before we did this SBC, we, or, you know, wow, we get a walkout in the first pack. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is epic. Is that Sergio Ramos? Oh my lord. Okay. All I'm going to say is imagine if the first pack that we opened, we packed Sergio Ramos. I would have lost my mind because we would have got back so many coins. So we spent about 480k, guys, from scratch to do this SBC. And with packing PK, we're already going to knock off about 30,000 coins. So that he, PK is 28k on the market at the moment. So very nice to see a walkout in the first pack. We also packed 283. So overall, this pack will probably make us. A good amount of coins. It's not going to be a worthless pack. We'll probably come away with about 30 to 40k with that pack, which is fantastic. So number one pack was very good. Takes us down for the SPC cost to about 450k, which is good. Um, you love to see it. We have a rare gold pack now. Now this pack is, I mean, I don't, this is like a generic 25k pack. So nothing that special with that pack. Um, nothing really there. We get Giovinco and we'll just go ahead and discard the rest. So not really adding to the tally there with anything knocking off the cost. Two pretty good packs coming up. We'll see if we grab anything out of these two. These packs are definitely pretty solid. Um, that, I don't know what that is. That is a board down. Um, it is going to be check. It is going to be a goalkeeper. Uh, it's going to be Pavlenka. Is he an 83? 84 Pavlenka. I had no idea this guy was an 84. Now, 
The question is, can we hit... This is a player's pack. Can we hit a Sissoko? Can we hit one of those guys in this pack? Is that going to happen? No. We get Jervinho and Lukaku. So nothing really that important in that pack. Herrera in there as well with Izzo and Neres. So we're probably down to about 440k in terms of SPC costs before the last pack. Can we get another walkout in this last pack? That's going to be the real question. Um, let's see. Don't think that's a walkout. That's not even a board down. So we come away with knocking off about 50,000 coins, which I think is pretty much on average what you guys would be able to do with your packs back. Give or take, you get a few board drops or a walkout. Um, Firpo, Mariano, so nothing that crazy in that pack. So now it's time to go into the, the gameplay, guys. It's time to try them out. We got to show you guys the squad that we're going to rock. We have a generic Prem squad that I've been using on this account for a little while. So we'll go into our squad selector. And we tried out Lewandowski Player of the Month recently, which is still available if you guys want to try that out. Uh, but what we will do is we will go to our squad selector. We will select our Premier League squad, um, which is a 4-3-3-2. The last time I used this squad was with Theo Walcott. And we're also going to use Theo Walcott in this team. Isn't that so fitting? So we will take out Sun from the striker position. We will put Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, which I'm very, very excited to try out. Um, I can't believe I called him Patrick in this video. <laughs> Um, so Obama player of the month, we will add a, um, engine chemistry style to him. Now, the reason why I would add an engine to him 100,000%, it's not even a question of any other chemistry style for me. He's fast enough. So you don't really have to add too much Hunter boost, but with the engine, what you're going to get is you're going to max out the pace. He's going to 98 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. You're going to add some passing stats and you're also going to add balance, which for this card is in my opinion, the most important thing that he needs. He needs balance. He's got 69 balance at the moment. So with the engine, it's going to boost him to 79 balance, also 81 agility. So you're going to get a lot better reactions, a lot better ball control, and it's going to be noticeable. So for custom tactics, guys, we're going to play two different formations today. We'll play between the 4-1-2 and 2-narrow, and if we do play that, we're going to end up playing Mane at Cam. We'll play Walcott and Aubameyang at Striker. Uh, EA, can I please select my right striker? EA, can I, can, EA, 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 EA Sports. Can I, can I select the Walcott, please? Oh my gosh, can I select Walcott? Why can't I select? Nah, this game is broken, dude. All right, let's see. Oh, it's so nice that it's that easy. Okay, now we did that. And then in the 4-2-3-1, guys, Obama will be the striker with Walcott and Mane out wide. We may start with the 4 2 3 one just because I think it really would suit Aubameyang's play style. We'll get into the first opponent now. So guys, our first opponent does not have a great team. Does not have a great team. We're in division rivals. We're actually at 1,600 skill rating, which makes it impressive that he's all the way up here. I'm, I'm very curious to see how he's going to play. Aubameyang. Great dribbling there. Aubameyang. Well to hold off the opposition. His dribbling is pretty good for his height, man. I, I really like his dribbling. Can we score? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, that is... Uh, I think the thing that I want to see out of Aubameyang is, is, is how good is his finishing, right? And that was top corner, and we gave him the engine Ken style, so he's still on that 92 finishing. That was a really nice play. So first real play of the game with Aubameyang, and he's already showing us some promise like that. Excellent, excellent. We already get a rage quit, so... Second opponent, boys, has a really crazy Bundesliga squad. Um, he's got Hierro, actually, in the team as well, with Kevin De Bruyne, Goretzka, Witzel, Aguero, Royce, Alaba... Hernandez and Walker so overall a pretty good looking squad um don't think this will be an easy game by any means you start looking behind you who's on the cover Christian Eriksen now the pace the, oh my god the pace Aubameyang. great pass oh my that was so nice man Aubameyang with the amazing showcase of the pace really nice pass to Walcott as well I think Walcott finished that on his weak foot so We'll see how it goes. Again, right? That was my. That is exactly my problem. He was stiff on the ball right there, so he just did the same thing twice in one game, where he kind of receives the ball and he feels a little stiff. Great pass. No way. Oh, the post. What the hell was that shot, man? Holy moly. Dude, this guy has a crazy shot on him. Ah, uh, that was absurd, man. Couldn't keep it. Ericsson. The Walcott. Ericsson. Let's go. Walcott to Ericsson makes it 2-0. 
Let's get it, boys. Nice finish. Nice play. And this is Royce. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Sadio Let's go, Mane. Now. Nice pass from Mane. We get to the back post, no bombing. What a pass! Let's go, man! Yo, his passing is actually really good, and that was one of the biggest things that I thought with this car was gonna be a weakness. But his passing is really solid. Like he's been he's been doing well with with the short passes and I haven't tested too many long passes, but to be able to whip him across like that was really nice. Go. Get in. Let's go, man. This guy is actually really, really good, guys. This card is really freaking good. Just has the pace and he and he every time he feels like he gets away, he's scoring, man. It's just like his finishing is so good. And I, I honestly like I really don't know what to say besides the fact that this card is just so good in this game. Um he is He's really solid. Um and that's that's a one hundred percent thing, boys. Um I, I'm gonna play one more because he's actually a ton of fun to play with. Second opponent, boys. Third opponent. Third opponent. Forgot the first game was a rage quit. Oh, Red Dybala. Wow, that is some pack luck. And Hernandez in the same week. No way. Wait, how did he shake that so badly? How did he shake it? He literally missed the net. He's got 80. I thought he had 88 volleys or 80 volleys. That should be a banger, man. Disappointing. Alexandro now. Man plays defense because he's got so much pace. Man just runs. Holy moly. Like his pressing ability. Look at his pressing, man. Pay this guy's pace is Oh my lord, EA. Can you register my ball roll, please? Absolutely amazing. Gomez. No way. No, what a disappointing finesse shot, man. That was so disappointing, bro. How is that not a goal? The ball with Martinez. Zadza. Real danger. Dibala. Can they take the lead? Oh my god. His Dibala just nutmegged me too. That was disgusting, that goal. I've been nutmegged, and that happened. I've been nutmeg, boys. So we are down 1-0 in this game. We're struggling a bit. All right, boys. So that's going to be the video today. We scored two goals and had two assists in three games with Aubameyang at top tier, pretty much top tier rivals, Division 3 top, Division 2 low. Um, he is really good. I was pleasantly surprised to understand or to play with him and realize that he is very good. The one downside with this card, in my opinion, is that his ball control at 83 is just not good enough. For some reason, he felt stiff whenever he got the ball at times. And I think that's a combination of his height and some of the dribbling stats. Other than that, this guy's breakaway speed is ridiculous. Um, his finishing is absurd. It's amazing. Um, and I really enjoyed that about him. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Like, pretty close. The, the highest rating I've given somebody is a 9.2 uh, so far, which was Sun in Week 1. I really like this card. And I think if you guys have a Premier League team, this is not a bad SBC to do. I'm not always, like, saying do SBCs. Um, but just remember last year, guys, Hazard's Player of the Month. Um, you know, that was a card that a lot of people regretted not doing. And I think this guy is a viable player for the majority of the year. If he gets replaced in your starting 11, he becomes a super sub. But I do think he's very good. I think he's definitely foot champs good enough. Um, and the one thing I would tell you guys before you do the SBC is just keep in mind what EA have said. They have told us guys that you're not going to be able to upgrade SBC. So for example, if you guys have Aubameyang and you guys are thinking he gets another player of the month, you can't just upgrade it like in previous years where you could put that and then the SBC and do another 100k squad, it's going to be a redo from scratch. So if you think Obama is going to have a big year and get another player of the month, then maybe stay away from this card. Otherwise, I do really like him, man. I thought he was very solid throughout the video. Didn't really have much problems with him in terms of overall finishing and speed. Just had a little bit of a problem with his his kind of close control on the ball. But other than that, the passing was shock, you know, pleasantly surprising. A lot of the, the things that I saw with the card were really good. He got two assists, which was really solid. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully the video helps. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.